Hey everyone, I'm recording this at the moment, but I am um, got to get everybody else on. So I'm going to pause the recording and then get right back with you. This is our Q&A session, first Q&A session in 2024. Coming right back at you. Okay, there were a couple of people who were coming today, but I guess they got hung up. So hope everything's going okay with you guys. I know one woman um, had a snow day today, hooray, in the northern climates. So, or like, I don't know, uh, Carolyn, if you are in Colorado or Wisconsin or where you are. But anyways, snow day. I love snow days. Well, we don't get snow. Oh, there you are. Hooray. Okay. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. So you can go ahead and you can make sure that your your sound is connected and uh, and you can leave your video off or on, doesn't matter. I'm going to talk for a minute because I want to address what happened today. Hello! Welcome to the Keep Singing System program, Carolyn. <laughs> Yay! I'm so glad you had a snow day. Yes, me too. <laughs> yes. Um, so I've been kind of waiting for people to get on to get that email update or to see the okay. thing. And um, I'm really literally just, just starting. So, I mean, theoretically, we'd be ending right now, but... Um, I'm okay. going to start now and go for a little while, and um, Carolyn, and for anyone else who, uh, for future Q&A sessions, you can send, like, ideally, send me your questions for Q&A days um, Sunday or, like, Monday at the latest, so I can kind of think about it and prep if there's any prep I need to do, um, and um, in, the, in the notification, even though the Zoom link was wrong, um, which does happen, <laughs> user error, um, probably, uh, you know, just whatever. Um, no the, uh, but there is an email address on there that when I tested it, I tested it regularly, I tested it three days ago and it worked. Now, that said, my hosting company for all my websites has gone AWOL. <laughs> so like, I sent in a support request last week and I got a, oops, there's nothing here anymore. I was like, okay, no word, no nothing. So, and I've started getting bounce notifications for my domain-based emails today. So I'm like, eh, I'm not sure. That might mean I have to migrate my sites again. I don't know. I don't know. That's the latest. Um, but okay, so what I thought I would do to start today, and Carolyn, if you have a question that's burning in your mind now that you got to come today, you can type it in the chat. I want to go ahead and address um, what happened today and what to do if you try to log in, for example, and the Zoom thing doesn't work or something happens. I'm going to show you where to find any updates. Today, I was able to email everybody from my Gmail account, but um, let's say I, I, I don't know, let's say I can't do that, I don't know. But I'm going to um, show you guys where you can go see last minute updates inside your account. So I am going to share my screen so you'll see what, you'll see what I see. Okay, so here is my little fake student account and um let me make this i'm not gonna make it much wider because then it'll show all my other programs but the how do i get rid of you get rid of you go away all right not you carolyn just the thing okay pin me there i am okay so theoretically i'm pinned as the speaker um okay so this should be what you see when you log in you know what, Carolyn, just nod your head if you need to see it from the login page. Like, do you need to see me log in? Have you logged in yet? Okay, you have. Okay, okay, very good. Um, and so this is the client login view. This is my little fake account. And feel free, Carolyn, just to unmute if you need to like go, hey, <laughs> or whatever. Okay. Um, 
And so here I am, and I'm sure you will appreciate this name. Let me see if I can show you. There's my name, Meryl Streisand. Thank you very much. Yes, I know, because I'm a nerd. All right. Okay, so here's what everybody should see. And you should have the opportunity to click on more at the bottom. So then you'll see everything that's in your member account. Um, and I hope you can see my little cursor here. I've tried to make it bigger. So now you know you're in the right place. Um, we, uh, you've got your welcome place, your, where you can go see your modules, your events, members, check-in, journal, collaboration, replace files, and discussion. All right, so when there's a, an issue, you're gonna go to discussion. And you're going to find the thread look at there last post by natalie eastman today at 11 18. so you're going to click on that coaching session updates and emergencies boom click on that and there it is if there's a snafu when you try to log in or there's anything that comes up i will post it here and this is something that everyone is able to see so this is a communication board which you can so it's it's kind of like the old forum software so if you ever participated in a forum anywhere and even apple still one of their knowledge base is just a user run forum right so um it's the same idea you start a thread with a topic and um and then you can post your topic so you would go down here and you would see if you you saw just a second ago this was highlighted um, it was bolded to to let you know oh there's something new here so you'd click on it and then you would find the latest thing and click on more and there's the email that i sent out to so there and there's the new zoom link so if there's a new zoom link that i can provide i'm going to put it there so that is that's how you'll know if anything happens at the last second and if there's anything that i know about in advance with any kind of notice i will i will let everybody know through the email my email autoresponder which i can then send up a, a broadcast so if there's anything i know about in advance i will let everyone know and um what would be great is if you see there's some kind of emergency update from me if you'd when you go in like here i am meryl just click like and then i know okay this many people have seen it and they know and of course if you have any questions or comments you click on that and just type it in comment blah blah and then hit post and it'll add it in there um all right so there is that let's go what i wanted to show you uh well that's really important but i also wanted to show um the one of the questions as start of a new year that maybe you have is kind of how do i get the most out of this program and some of you have already found the welcome page and others of you have not new students have not so um i want to show you uh what do you do how do you get the most out of this briefly not to take too much time from the people who've already looked at it and have already started taking the steps on it, but I want people to see where to go first, like do this before you do anything else. Of course, you can kind of like mill around in your account and stuff, but then go to the welcome page. And this is going to tell you what to do, <laughs> like basically what to do and read through it. It's a little bit long, as Carolyn can probably attest. It's a little long, but I try to put everything in there. Um, some of the stuff you'll hear you'll hear me referring to a pilot program that's because when i first opened this it was a pilot uh, program and i was trying to figure out how to do everything and um, ran it with some pilot students in it so um, these are so here you go I, that hasn't come out yet so that needs to be edited out so it's gonna all anything that's old or you know that I just didn't update yet says keep singing pilot program um, from this point forward we'll say keep singing system program 
Um, so here are kind of some big, uh, these are your big uh, think parts of your, these aren't the benefits of the program. These are the tools of the program. So these are the things that you get and the things that we do and the things that you'll want to do and take advantage of. They, uh, they are not clearly the, the benefits you're going to get. The benefits you're going to get are you're going to get, <laughs> you're going to get a systematized approach to learning, um, to develop your voice. You're going to get, uh, uh, a better voice. I mean, that's a benefit. You're going to get a better voice because you're going to have better practice. You're going to have better goals. You're going to have better. This is assuming you had any in the first place. <laughs> They're going to get better. Anything you didn't have before, you're going to get it. And then if you had it before, you're going to get better because it's going to be more focused. It's going to be tailored to you. And uh, it's going to be real step-by-step uh, -step and simple. Like My thing is it has got to be simple, got to be sustainable. I am a mom of three teenagers now, um, and I have ADHD, and uh, I am constantly overcommitted. I have a full-time job um, at a music conservatory. So I meet myself coming and going. And if I, I had to develop a simple um, way for myself to practice, but then also over time, I saw with my private students, I thought I, I learned they are not practicing. <laughs> you know, I get more excuses when we meet, you know, the first minute or two is wasted with them. So sorry, it was so busy and la 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 la. Like, like, I know, you know, here's the violin. Like we all play it. Okay. <laughs> and um, I realized people need something that is that my students, even my professional ones, maybe especially my professional ones, like it's got to be super efficient. It's got to be on target and it's got to be easy to remember. And it's just got to be something that you can do almost anywhere that you are. Um, and the, the more you practice, the better your pitch will be and your pitch memory so that you'll even be able to do it without having any accompaniment tracks of any kind, because you'll remember things and your interval judgment will get better and stuff like that. But um, in the beginning and for as long as you want, you do it with music. Um, that's a great ear training device It's doing it with music. So you hear precise intervals and all that kind of thing. But anyhow, benefit, better voice, better voice, um, easy system to remember. And, uh, and those things, the things that teach you, the things that will get you to that better voice are all in the modules. So module release. And something I realized I never did before during the pilot program, which you would kind of think that I would <laughs> think about this, but uh, because I look for this kind of thing when I am in a program, I'm looking for the, I'm looking for the, okay, what are we doing this month? What are we doing this month? What are we doing this month? And my initial thinking, and I, when I think back on when I was designing it at the beginning and running the pilot program, what was, I was thinking, well, when a person designs, works through their, their vision for their voice and, um, determines their goals based on their vision and determines a plan based on their goals, they're coming up with their monthly theme, right? But then I thought, okay, that's all well. And I left it that way for all this time. The last couple of weeks I've been really thinking, well, how am I gonna make it even more organized and really just you look at it, you know, okay, just no more no brainer stuff. So we don't have to think real <laughs> hard. This is a program for adults after all, like we're doing enough thinking and we need to like, not think as much and just sometimes we just want somebody just tell me what to do so I can get on with the other things and I can just get the voice I want and leave me alone. Um, so now the um, so what I'm going to be doing is uh, creating like, OK, so whether or not you use them in the order that they're going to come to you, I'm going to do a, a theme per month. So maybe one month is going to be all about range extension. How do I get higher highs? How do I get lower lows? And I'm going to be rearranging modules and creating new modules to really just kind of drill down on that for a whole month. And, and then you take those things, uh, those tidbits and those exercises, and you plug them in to your 
what I call the, the Fab Five, your Fab Five. So um, you'll see what that is, but your Fab Five is, is part of the system of, okay, what do I do today? That's, the, that's five, it's Fab Five. What do I do today? You just do your Fab Five. That's all you gotta think about in that month. And you've already kind of, you've taken 15 minutes to think about your goals and what you're doing that month. And then you plug in the things you need to do into your Fab Five and that's what you do. And so um, your goals may be, for example, in that month where we're working on range, your, your goals this month might be, I wanna work on my range, I want higher notes. And so you really go in and you, you look at those, those, find those modules in your module release. And um, I will allow you to request, uh, if there's something you particularly need to focus on, I'm pretty sure I can do this um, and if not, I will talk with the owner of the program. She's fabulous. I just love her to death. Um, I think that I can release to you specific modules. So if you go, okay, well, the, the so-and-so module, the module on power, um, I really want more power without pushing, and I need, that. I've got a thing coming up, and it really depends on me having power without pushing because I keep blowing out my voice. Um, I'm pretty darn sure that I can release the module to you into your account. So if you see something, say something. If you see something, you're like, I need this. Uh, let me know. Because I'm pretty sure I can work that out. So, okay. Um, that was a little bit tangential. All that was tangential. Pertinent, but tangential. All right, how to get the most out of this program. I'm not gonna read it all to you because you can read and you should read and just come through and do this. I do wanna be real clear that I'm not available all the time to program members for this program. It is a basically all digital program. The times that you get me are the live coaching sessions and you can email me, just don't abuse that. You're, I don't think you're gonna. Nobody has so far. Just uh, you know, this is uh, this. I I pared this down and took out all the one-on-one -on -one coaching kinds of elements so that I could bring the price way down and have it be so much more, like more automated, but still have me be with you. So, um, but here's how you can get a hold of me, and there it is. Take make use of it. I'm happy happy to um, be of use to you. Here's my really old headshot. Isn't that nice? <laughs> All right. Need to update that. Um, okay. Description of program content. Okay. So here we go. Our, our live um, trainings each month, and we do just have four. So on the weeks where there's a fifth meeting, uh, fifth Tuesday, that is a day that you should take as a sign to practice. And um, Let's see. Uh, let me um, talk about a little bit about the difference between Q and A week and what's in your way week. So Q and A, or at least how I intend it. I mean, if you need something one of those weeks, send it to me. Because, um, but here's how I see the differences between the two. The, the quanda or Q and A is just a, anything. You have a question about singing, performing. Um, uh, the, the, the system, the coaching genie system or whatever, you just have a question. Um, I want to address it and record it and then it'll go in our members area. And because if you have a question, so do other people. Um, so there isn't a bad question for the Q and A week, just lay it on me and let's get it all out there. What's in your way week is the way I think of it uh, is more specific to your singing and your vocal development and your performance. So what's getting in your way? Are you finding that you're super stressed out about singing and you, you, you're not sure why you get a, you might get a, um, a stage fright reaction just going on Zoom, <laughs> whatever, just coming to our meetings. Um, that's what I mean by what's in your way. What's preventing you from going forward? 
Um, so maybe uh, I could address it with some nervous system calming exercises. Um, uh, or maybe I would give you an assignment of some things to do to try to help you push past it. And you never have to do anything I recommend. It's always up to you and because you know yourself best. But that's how I view what's in your way week. Now, that does not mean that you can't ask me a question that's kind of similar to something that's in your way, like, how do I get past stage fright? That's a question. So you can send it to me on Q&A week. Um, but this is what I just want. I want you to, I want you to get where you want to go as rapidly as you want to get there. And if there's something impeding your progress, this is a great way to do it. If it can't wait till week four, ask it in week two. Um, okay, so that's enough about that. Um, let me see if there's anything else that jogs my thinking. Oh, I do want to show you guys the files all right, because um, there are already a few files in there. Um, modules, we'll get to the files in just a second. So here's my files reminder. Oh, and I want to show you guys the, um, the collaboration stuff and uh, what you can do with that. And also so collaboration, so files, collaboration. And then I want you, I want to share with you about uh, the intake form that you'll find somewhere. Where's my thing? Short video. Oh, 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 I don't want to forget this. Okay, everybody needs to do number two up here. This is kind of not all the way at the top, but just under the video, um, you need to click on this uh, if you haven't already, and it is going to assign you to, well, you're just going to, I'm going to ignore this, but you need to click on here. And um, what that will do is I've created a whole bunch of emails that'll come out to you sometimes daily. I think I originally set them for daily and then people just weren't reading them daily. So I thought, let's just do them weekly and um, it'll be more digestible that way. And they're tips, train little teeny weeny, like training morsels, um, an interesting tidbit about your voice, uh, about the vocal opera, whatever. Something that's gonna maybe help you move the needle forward just a, a tad. So um, you need to click on that to start receiving those. Those are also through the Coaching Genie system. I am trying to find where the form is. Wouldn't be on this page. It's not that page. You should watch that. Um, that's not it. Okay, at some point. And now, Carolyn, can you unmute yourself for a second? Sure. You um, you completed the intake form. Did, yeah, you completed it last week. Mm -hmm. um, I can't remember how members get there. Um, did did I? I didn't send you the page. You found you went to the because you sent me. Hey, is this site okay? Um, question. But how did you get to the intake form? Hmm. I don't actually remember. Don't remember? Okay. Um, I'll have to parse that out again. Uh, there's so many things that I've set up that happen automatically that I forget where all the links are. And are you able to 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 tell me if I did sign up for the daily um, or somewhat daily emails? I can. Okay. Wait, am I in the right one? Yes. Groups. Okay, I don't see you. On oh, here. okay. I don't know how. Because when I click on that link, then it, it takes you? me 
to my sign in. But then when I sign in, let's see, then it just goes to the general page, like welcome modules, events. And I'm not sure where I should go. Okay. Great question. Okay, so let's copy link. Maybe the link got corrupted at some point. So let me welcome page. Let me just put in a new link and update it and we can try it out right here and right now. Okay, you should maybe refresh your page. And, uh -huh. um, are you on the welcome page with me? Kind of uh -huh. following along? Okay. Yep. Uh, refresh the page and see if you click on that here again, whether that takes you. I don't know if it will take you anywhere per se, or if it'll just assign you to the group where I have all those modules. It's not anything you're really going to interact with. It just <clears> starts the delivery of those. So when I click on that link, it just takes me to the sign in page for coaching genie. Hmm. And then sign in. Okay. And we'll see what happens. And then it just goes to the, you know, just the, the home page, I guess. Regular. So do you, what do you see on your homepage? Do you see? Uh, I see that just um, on the right side, it says video tutorial, how to use your client portal. And then on the left side, it has the welcome modules, events, members, check-in journal, more. Okay. Hmm. And there's <clears> nothing <throat> to scroll down to? No. Okay. Okay. I don't know. I let me make a note of that to talk about with um I have a I can send uh the, they have an amazing knowledge base. So I'll check that. Okay. I can't. It might have already happened. <laughs> and we just don't have an indicator. Okay. Like, have there been, have you sent out any emails yet? Or just the ones that say, like, there's a module, um, Let's see. a new module that was sent out? Huh. Well, um, it's not, I don't send them, send them. They just mm. start coming to you uh, like that welcome email mm. that you okay. got. The, um, when you start getting them, you'll know them because they're called your daily note or YDN. Oh, okay, yeah. No, I haven't received any yet then. But I'm probably going to change that to your weekly note. <laughs> 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 and you know i am all about redundancy and i want you know please give me feedback um what i'll try to do over the next couple of days is take all these emails that i've created and put them in my external autoresponder program that's um completely separate from coaching genie um put them in there and create an automation. So if we can't figure this out, then I'll start sending them out that way. Um, but let's let's see if we can. I'll see if we can solve this first. Okay. Uh, Sending. Gone are the days when you just tell people, "Everybody, show up at this church auditorium." <laughs> no, uh, we'll have like, <clears throat> you know, we'll meet for twelve weeks and have a have a coaching class just 
don't right. know anymore. <laughs> now it's like, we're going to broadcast it and live stream it and have all this tech to the Okay. All right. Very good. Okay. Um, I want to show the pilot. So, all right. If you did, you put any? Uh, you did. You put in a question. No. Oh, okay. No. Yay. I agree. I need structure too. Okay. <laughs> all right. So you can go ahead and mute yourself, and I'll go on. And I'll show the files area, and um, collaboration opportunities, and then performance stuff. Um, Oh, we have 10 minutes. Good. I like it. Just give us a limit. All right. So 10 minutes. All right. Files area. So to uh, navigate, you can just go up here and click on files. And you can see, um, can I, you know, I don't know. Are you following along still, Carolyn? When you click on files, do you see? Um, I do. I did see that earlier. Yeah. Okay. Do you see three files in there? Mm -hmm. Exercise. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Because you'll need those and want those, and you can. There's no reason why you can't look now. I mean, they they have some self explanation in there. I've described what they're for, how to use them, and stuff like that. So if you don't want to wait for the module, do it now. Okay. Um, go ahead and access them. Um, now all right so let's go to where you can find the replays too as long as we're we're here you just go down just click on the same i love their navigation so easy click on replays and i probably have a lot more maybe i have more in mind than you do but probably not you might have the same all right so that's how you find the replays and you can just go back and you can find a week you missed or whatever and knock it out um I really want to encourage everybody to do use the journal and do the weekly check ins so uh, the journaling is. For you, unless you want it to be for others as well, and here, let me show you what I mean by that, so you can use your journal for just recording. A practice session you how do you want to remember um what you did and you jot your notes in here this is very convenient um and it's just keeping everything all in one place you can of course do this somewhere else if you like using um you know notepads or if you like uh i, I don't recommend highly using just a scrap of paper i recommend having something where you keep things in one place but to have a singing notebook and i don't for this, I don't mean places where you keep all your sheet music and stuff. You need to have that too. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about where you write down notes about your practice and performance and you are journaling and reflecting. And it doesn't have to take forever. I am not a take forever person. I am a little something, uh, try to write down enough that I can remember whatever it was. And, um, just you know type your title in and then type in your notes and boom okay and theoretically hit save and you're done now it's by default set to private so uh, and it's also by default set to live so uh if there's something that you want to the group to see you would hit public and at that point, the draft becomes something you would really care about. Otherwise, you probably wouldn't care about it. Um, but if you're like, I want to put it in draft mode because I don't want it to be seen by other people until I finish all my thoughts about it. If you keep it in draft mode, you can hit save. Nobody else will see it, even though it's marked public. So um, but once you're ready, you would hit live and hit public and hit save and then other people can see your journal entry. So if there's something that was really profound, you're like, maybe somebody else will learn from this, or you just want to share with the community, do it. Or um, you uh, write in there, um, Natalie, please 
please read and you can do that uh if there's something that there was a question you had during your your practice time and or something came up or you just want to share something exciting that happened during your practice i want to see that too i don't just want to hear the problems i want to hear the 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 aha moments and the you know your ebullition ebullience if whatever you know what i'm saying i want to hear when you're happy something really good happens so uh you can put happy <laughs> i don't know whatever okay so there it is um but otherwise by default like i said it's going to be private and if you just want to get rid of it you just hit cancel okay so that's really helpful let me tell you the difference between journal and check-in okay so check-ins are questions that you want to just answer and here's what i advise do a different check-in every week maybe or choose one check-in that you want to do every week read through the list of possible check in questions um, and. Pick one or pick two and jot some answers, um, this is a little bit about accountability see like how many daily vocal practices did you get in this week, um, did you have any big wins. Um, uh, do you have a biggest pressing question. Um, then and I also instruct you write that in a journal entry and send it to me and so you have that question that you're keeping. Um, you you've hit in your check in and you've made a journal entry and you sent me the question, so you kind of know you've. dotted all your eyes and crossed all your T's and you're going to get an answer to that. Um, so there's just some ideas, some are reflective, some are to make this more empirical. Okay, so I highly recommend doing benchmark videos periodically. Um, this would be your this 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 particular check in is um, making a video of yourself singing the same song I wait post the link to the journal you can sing uh, they say the exact same thing so I must have so forget the last one so because <laughs> it's the same as the second to last one so uh you want to see progress so do I um make a video of yourself now you t theoretically technically never have to share it with anybody anybody in the community but I don't recommend you do that I recommend that you put yourself out there and this is a safe space to do that where you even if you're not getting any feedback you're doing this for you you record yourself use a karaoke background track or something and record yourself you can use zoom to record yourself you can use uh um uh what's that photo booth that takes up a lot of space on your hard drive but you could use photo booth um, just whatever you've got some kind of use your phone set your phone up <laughs> but um and and sing a song record yourself doing it that way you'll hear your progress over time and nobody including yourself can argue with that like that is empirical like data collection so and that's what you want because you don't want to you know a, two or three months down the line to go I don't feel like I've made any progress Eeyore boohoo you know it it don't do that don't do that to yourself and don't do that to the program but mainly don't do that to yourself put yourself out there take a deep breath hit record and record yourself um, and then I highly recommend that you upload it to YouTube. You can keep it unlisted. Um, I recommend everyone start a YouTube channel. It's free. You can just keep it on your channel. It can be you know, my vocal journey and it can be, you can have the channels visible to everybody. I don't think you can make it invisible, but Every single video you make can be unlisted <laughs> so nobody can see it, except for who you share the link with and. Uh, but I do recommend from time to time sharing with somebody so somebody else can see your progress too, and I recommend that that somebody be us. <laughs> so uh, 
and the way you do that, uh, I'll make a whole like video on how do I do that? Okay, how do I upload a video? How do I, uh, you know, how do I do that? And how do I share it? But if you already know how to do it, you can put the video on YouTube and then take the link and put it in a journal entry that is public um, and be sure to tag me on it. So um, that is, that's a lot today. We've talked about a lot of details. Um, Carolyn. Natalie, just for clarification, when it says, when you said um, on this check-in, create a journal entry, do you mean create a journal entry on this check-in or go to the journal area? Oh, I see what journal? you're saying. Um, yes, it was kind of like an, another step to 